Do you guys know what problem solving is? I'll bet you do problem solving in your math classes. You do? Um, today we're gonna do it a little differently because I bet when you do problem solving, you do it by yourself, right? Today we're gonna work as a group. All of us are gonna work together. Um, first thing we need to do is decide who's in what group. And so what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna sound off A, B, C, D, and then start over on A. Okay, so sound off for me. A, A B, C, D, E, F. Start no. with A. A, B. B, okay, so we have two A's, two B's, a C, and a D. And before we do anything with the problem, I'm gonna ask you a question. Have you seen problems like this before where you have m multiple choices yes. and where you have to bubble them? You guys have seen these before. Where have you seen them? Jose, where have you seen On them? On a test. On a test. We're gonna do it a little bit differently today. Can I have a volunteer read the question? Let's see, Jeanette, how about you read the question? Which number shows the position of the arrow on the number line? Okay, can I have one more person reread the question? Benny. Which number shows the position of the arrow on the number line? Okay, does everyone understand the question? Yes. yes. Okay, the A's, I want you to look at response number, or uh, response A. B's, I want you to look at response B. C's, I want you to look at response C. And D's, I want you to look at response D. Let's start with the A's. So raise your hand, put your hand up way high in the air if you're an A. If you're an A. Are you an A? No, he's up here. You're a B. Okay, A's. Jeanette, is this right or is it wrong and why? Wrong because, because 130 is in the middle of 100s and the 200s and it's, and it's not in the middle of 200 and 300. Excellent, did you guys hear her answer? Mm -hmm. She said that 130 is between 100 and 200, but not between 200 and 300. Okay, who has B? Raise your hand up high in the air if you have B. Okay, Carmen, read the number to me. 170. 170, is it right, is it wrong? It's wrong because the arrow isn't, isn't by the 100. The arrow isn't by the 100, over here? By, by the side. Okay, it's not by the hundred. Good answers, you guys, really good answers. Who has C? Raise your hand up high. All right, Benny's got C. Timely asks each child to explain his or her decision. She shows she is listening by summarizing what each child has said. The children agree that D is the correct answer. Let's see how Timely coaches Benny to find the location of 203 on the number line. Benny, come show us where your number was. I can't mark it because they, the tallies represent 10. You can't mark it because the tallies represent 10. Where might it be? If the tallies represent 10, just give us an idea. You can drive in a little dot if you need to. Let's think what we already know. The tallies are by 10s, right? Mm -hmm. The marks are by 10s. So where is, let's see, what's this number here? 200. 200, is it more than or less than 200? It's at 200. It's at 200? 200 and three and 200 uh, are the same? It's less than. It's less than 200? So if you were to mark 203, which direction would you go? Up. Uh, this way. So maybe that's more than 200? Just a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so will we go all the way to here, to no. this first mark? Why not? Because that represents 10. Okay, so that number would be what? 210. 210, right. So where would you put the, the mark? In the middle. Somewhere in the middle. Good job. All right, Benny, give me a high five. Excellent thinking. That was a tough one. <laughs>